if it is blood is this, I say that's my that's also my kind of blood now. So who whose blood were you expecting to be inside the baby? So when I look at you, is there something in your life that looks like Jehovah? Your your use, you do not belong to the body of Christ until you have something in the body of Christ. You can belong to the church, it doesn't mean you belong to the body of Christ. It's two different things. You can belong to a church and not belong to the body. Body means there is something in his physical body you carried. Now, if you are saying that, oh, we want to know what will happen in September, what do we need to do? We bring the eye. So, though you are standing as a man in the realm of the spirit, you represent a what? Represent the eye. So, you can be amazed that there are only six people that have the you can enter into a church and you do a spiritual census only eight inside 700 belong to the body of Christ our numbers count for nothing many doesn't mean strong our church is growing how do you rate it new people are coming in our church is growing is when people that enter pick up something in their body would amaze that the body of Christ is only divided into 12. And when you look at the physical human body in an, in a, in a, in an anatomy, there are only 12 parts of the human body. The systems that divide man is only 12. So Jesus took the bread and gave each one. Are you the eye or are you the mouth? Are you the ear or are you, are you, are you following me? So for example, you would assume if I see a man walking in wisdom, you know wisdom, it's not common sense, real wisdom. I've seen men like that who are wise. They are not very much in the body of Christ, but there are few ministers whose hair is white. That whiteness is, an, is a representation of the ancient of days. Because in the realm of the spirits, hairs are not distant. Hairs are actually horns. They are horns. You know horns. That's what a hair looks like. It looks like a horn. Are you following me? Because on his head there were seven horns. Horn talks about power and authority. It's not hair we have. Samson had how many head? Seven locks of hair. So it's physically you have something. His spirit is called horns. There are horns growing out of you. Are you following me? So there are those who what they have in the body of Christ is the is horns of power so when you see a man who is wise some have horns in their hands meaning there is power in the hand have you ever held has somebody ever put his hands upon you and you just fell down what do you think happened a horn you came in contact with a horn because in the book of um habakkuk chapter 3 it says about god that there were horns coming out of his hands we in tearing is the hiding of his power so when you see can i talk when a spirit sees you, when a demonic spirit sees you, what it what he is seeing is not you necessarily. He is seeing you as you are in the realm of the spirit. That's why they can't look at you. Are you following me? So what is it in the Lord? Bible says, as we behold him, we are changed. What you are changed into is dependent on what you are looking at. If what you first of all saw was the eyes, all you become is what you saw. Are you hearing me? Now, let me also let me also shift into something else. God is so wide that he doesn't have one language. What is a language? A language is a product of human thoughts and human emotions. It's a way of human thoughts it's a way of conveying human communications right you can't you can't speak beyond your ability to think there's a language known as um, let me give me a language there's yoruba right there's yoruba language right there's Igbo. there's hausa despite that there is yoruba language and a yoruba man okay Igbo man hausa man for example right 
the man sitting next to you, hold him, shake him. You see this? That the man is shaking him doesn't mean what he knows as in that third you. Shake him again. Hug. Okay, I wish I could say hug you. But the proximity is not what? It's not connectivity. That he shook him doesn't mean the Igbo he has as in that uh, uh, pastor. So, God can hug you, you will fall and st- It doesn't mean what is in God has entered you. Are you following me? It, do, it doesn't mean that what is in God has entered you. Communications. Now, for example, in your area, there are some things you eat, these people don't eat. For example, there are people that eat um, big meat. Do you eat big meat? Praise God. Do you, do you eat big meat? You are not a real woman. Who doesn't eat big meat? Eh? Eh? You don't eat snail. Do you eat snail? Aha, uh-huh. now we have found the difference. He is snail eater. He is not snail eater. Now, listen. Listen. I'm teaching you how God speaks. I've had people who say they are prophets and they are interpreting people's dreams. They said, if you see a dog in your dream is a sign of evil spirit. But there are people that eat dogs. So does it mean I'm eating evil spirit? You know people say if you interpret I saw a pig following me. He said, hey pig is a demonic thing. It's a lie. Because are you following me? If you see a snake now in your dream, what would you say it is? Witchcraft. Isn't that what you say? But Jesus said as the snake was lifted up, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. So, in the eyes of Jesus, a snake was something that looks like him. Jesus said, the snake you are saying is witchcraft, is me. That when Moses was lifting up a snake, I was the one he was lifting up. And, if I, and Moses said, if you can look at the snake, you will live. So help me interpret it. You saw, you saw, you saw a snake. And you were sure Satan was after your life. But Jesus says, without the snake, you can't be healed. God speaks to you based on the way you think. God speaks to you based on the way you think. Your thinking patterns determines the way he talks to you. Are you following me now? Somebody said, I saw a scorpion. Say it's, a, it's, a, it's an evil thing. But don't be in a rush first. That's why in, in Christianity it's very difficult to interpret somebody else's dreams. Very, very difficult. In fact, every believer has the ability to know his dreams. Because when Pharaoh was having a dream about his kingdom, because Pharaoh was in an agricultural system, what did he see? Cows. Lean cows and fat cows. Nebuchadnezzar, he saw a statue. He saw a golden image. They were meaning the same thing. But the interpretation is therefore by the way the person thinks. God cannot use Aleho to show me a vision. He knows I have no interest in Aleho. So guess what? If you if you walk in the prophetic, everything you used to see in the spirit are things you already know. Yes. So the way God speaks to me, He will use what I know to bring revelation out. Because if God speaks to me via elements I do not know, I won't be able to know He's the one talking to me. So He can only talk to me based on my imaginations. There are times I'm talking to people is a a film I have watched. He brings and said that thing you saw in that film is the thing I want to use to speak to this person. Oh my, you think prophecy is divine origin? Straight from heaven to my mouth? No, straight from heaven as light. It rests upon my spirit and uses the informations I have used. Then I begin to speak it out. Point. Hey, can I talk? Remember the story of the baker, the baker that was in prison, in prison with um, Joseph. He said, I was carrying a, 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 
basket full of different different trees I had picked. The basket had the three layers. Then I saw animals came and ate it. And Joseph interpreted because the man was a baker. He saw dreams and visions in the area of his assignment. What you are doing is how you will see God. Oh, the fuck. He said in three days, Herod will bring you out, but they will kill you. This one saw wine, wine grapes in three steps. Say in three days you are going to be because the guy was what the wine, the chief, the chief butler. Nobody hears God the same. For example, me, I see, I hear God a lot through scriptures, through the Bible. That's how I hear the voice of God. Through what? Through scriptures. <sighs> Are you learning something? I wish there was. Yes, how about chapter 3, 4, verse 4? And his brightness was as delight. He had horns coming out of his hand. Horns. So you saw the man just do like this. He says, no, he's not just hands. He's stretched. He's stretched for the horn. Another name for a horn is a scepter. Okay, let me give you. Have you ever seen in, in films, especially in Nigerian films, the guy that the, the herbalist is holding the horn of a cow. The horn of a what? That's a horn. What's a horn is a symbol of power. He, he, he knows he's not a king because a, a king holds a scepter. But as a priest, he needs an animal sacrifice to offer its power. So the animal has to. Oh, can I talk? You know, I was talking with my wife this evening and we talked about a lot of ritualistic ritualistic things that have been happening recently, especially targeting the, the females and other. Look at the kind of things they ask for the woman's eyes. Slaughter a person, but we don't want the entire body. There are certain aspects we offer to certain people. So a demon will say, Give me eyes. One will say, Give me the tongue. One will say, Give me the breath to come together to bring matter, to bring money or wealth. So you see, it's not only the eyes you need, you need the eyes, you need the tongue. So how do you bring wealth? You need to speak, you need to see. You see the things. So say combine these elements this person we can advance him so since you don't want to speak go and bring somebody else's eyes let him let the person's eyes speak for you jesus too sacrificed himself he was a ritual and gave us his blood to drink you can't separate christianity from sacrifices the world is is, is a spiritual place and there is no spirit without sacrifice there's no Say, ah, no, I belong to Islam. We don't <laughs> check, check. Heavy sacrifices are offered. So, what is the connection between? That? Okay, let's leave this topic. So, there's something in your eyes that Satan is looking for to make somebody else wealthy. If you don't know how to speak, you can you can offer it to Satan. He, he knows what to do with it. You learning something? Say go and bring him. Why? Why are they looking for? Why is Satan not looking for everybody? Why is Satan making options and cho choices? You are Satan. You know you, 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 you don't you don't really finish. That you became Satan, you are not finish. But say even as Satan, I want a virgin who is seventeen years old. Why not the? Why not a, a prostitute in Adiga? Say no, no, no. I can't use that one. So Satan, so Satan can useless you and still not use you. Say, no, 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 no. We can't use this one. There's a level of rubbish you enter into. God can, God cannot use you. Satan who made you unusable cannot use you. I should give you a story. David was a Lord said you will not build. What did I do? Say your hand is full of blood. Excuse me, sir. If I didn't go to war to fight, will I have the money needed to build? Say leave it. Another person will build, not you. Your hand.
world is full of blood if you build this temple the the, the spirits will see your hand on the beauty and they will they will act like the person that built it the angels that will enter this temple will be full of war because the man that built it was a man of war solomon's name is what peace so it's not just who began a ministry Solomon's the temple destroyed because the man later had married several hundred wives. He allowed for mixtures. God knew if the God knows if that temple continues to survive, the believers that go there to worship will come with the same spirit the man carried. So he said, Destroy it. Let's start again. Whatever you build will look like you. Everybody in Tutisian, we're talking last, has the ability to see in the spirit. At least that is a basic requirement requirement to join the family is that you can't tell me that I don't know what God is saying <laughs> it means you are not here when that